Hey, welcome back to the scale model experiment. This week, I printed two model car bodies in two different print orientations. Let's check out the differences between printing in an angle and printing flat. I think you'll be surprised. Maybe you won't be surprised, but you know, hey, enjoy the story. All right, so just like in the last video, we're gonna go to Colts 3D, type in Hoonicorn, and this is the one that we want. And you can look through the pictures if you like, but I've already downloaded this, so you just click the download, and you see, I already ordered it. So anyways, so go to your files. This is a huge file pack. So we've got you know, half the body, the other half of the body. We got a rear diffuser. Got a got a wing. I believe these hold the wing up. You got a front diffuser. Here's the whole body. Front bumper. Rear bumper. And this is the good stuff. So we have a chassis that all of the shocks and the suspension pieces are all molded in place. But he also offers without. So everything is drilled out so that you can put pins to hold it all together, which I think is kind of cool. So you get all the suspension pieces with all the holes in them so you can pin everything and basically you could make it working. So yeah, lots of good pieces in this kit. But then again, lots of pieces to print. Our engine block valve covers say valve Ford racing on them look at this intake gorgeous and then he makes so you can print the whole engine as one piece and I know 3d printers this will print just this nice I'm gonna try it both ways when I do print the engine I'm gonna print it all together and then separate here's our hood interior tub comes as a tub only way no separate doors on the emergency brake with hoonigan on it that's kind of cool full roll cage nice dash with uh, switches on it nice steering wheel seat looks really nice too nice pedals really really nice fans Look at this transfer case. Look at this diff. I found this interesting. These are your hubs. They're not threaded, but hell, look at that. Nice hub. Brakes are slotted and drilled. Here's our wheels. He has them with the lug nuts already in it with the, the center hub, as well as without the lug nuts in the center hub. We got our tires, nice tires, and there is actually writing on them. It's a P0. And here's the body. We'll rotate it around so you can sort of look at it. Luckily, it fits within the confines of the build plate. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate it up. I'm going to go with a 13 degree angle. And then I'm going to tilt it like this. I'm going to go with a 13 degree angle in that way, direction two. All right, so let's look at it from a flat perspective. And I'll zoom it in here a little bit so we can sort of look at it. All right, so we're looking for anything that's going to be parallel or perpendicular to this flat plane. I 
think that this this uh, flat area of the door right here is going to get print lines. But since it's, like I said, um, parallel here, I think it might, but with the tilt, it may not. We're definitely not gonna get print lines on this roof, nor the tops of the fenders, because those are at an angle. We're not going to get them on, we may get them on the trunk lid here. Not on the trunk lid, but on this panel going across here. Because this may be perpendicular. This no problem, because it's at an angle. See here, maybe here, maybe, we'll see maybe on the edges of these uh, wheel lips, we might get some lines. But I think, for the most part, I think we're gonna be line-free for the whole thing. So we will go to our slice, our supports, and click light supports. I'm going to change the touch tip distance. And what that is, is how far apart the supports are going to be. And I'm going to put 3.5 millimeters apart. And I'm going to auto support it. Holy smokes, look at that. All right, so let's look at the things that are going to actually touch the outside of the car that we don't really want touching. So we're going to really kind of zoom in on what's touching the body. These are going to touch the bottom of the body here that we're going to have to sand off each one of these. See how it's touching this rivet right here? I don't really like that too much. So I think we can take, we'll get rid of that. These are underneath there. No worries. This is right on that corner. Uh, we may have to move that one. All of these are underneath this, this pan here. Not worried about that. And these ones go inside of the holes where the taillights are going to go. Not worried about that. Not worried about this one at all. Rolling around here, we've got... Is that going to touch? I'm looking at where this support is coming up right by the body here. It looks like it's got a bit of a gap. Not worried about that. We're going to hit the bottom of the door handle, which we can sand that off pretty easy. A ton of supports in the bottom of here. That'll keep it all steady. These are inside of this cove, which will be a little tricky to sand, but not too worried about it. These are on the inside of the, the wheel well. Not so worried about that. What I'm really more worried about is the body itself. How much sanding are we going to have to do on the body? Which looks pretty good. Now we have a lot of supports on the body here to hold it in place. But I want to reinforce it because there's going to be a lot of pressure. Especially in this bottom corner. This bottom corner is going to hold the whole thing to the build plate. And so what I want to do is I want to put some heavier supports down in this corner and then at the key points that we want to keep steady. So what I'm going to do is there's a way, go back to here, there's a way that we can just put the half marks to see where the, the pins are going to be, where the supports are going to be. And I'm going to flip the car over. Let's get a real good view of it here. Okay, so I'm going to click on heavy supports, and then I'm going to manually place some manual supports, heavy supports. I'm going to go like here, here, here here, here, put 
one here in the middle of the wheel well to kind of hold this in place and maybe like one on each side. Same thing over here. Wheel well, nobody will ever see. We'll put some in the middle of the, the body to kind of hold it in place. We'll put some here. And we're basically just trying to keep this body from moving around at all. So we won't get many of the, the uh, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when the, the body shifts while it's printing. So I'm going to put some more heavies here. And then we'll move this over a little bit. So you can see, and we'll put some heavies on the uh, bottom of the trunk lid here, kind of cement it down. And I hate to put them right on the body. So let's zoom it in and maybe catch a corner or something. Maybe catch a corner here. It won't be that noticeable. And um, these little supports that he put in here to put all the body together, it's a good place to put some heavies on it. So we can sand those off real easy. I'm going to move it a little bit. And we're going to put some along the back edge here because we're going to sand that edge anyways. And this will kind of keep it all square. Again, we're going to try and put it in a corner and a corner. So now I think that I have anchored this body down using some heavy supports. You can see them like here. And I'm going to expand them here. All right. So you can see, you really can't see them. But the heavies are in here to... Uh, to anchor this thing down. You can see there's a bit one right there. So now that we've done that, we'll go back and we're gonna check our slice settings. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna use 0 0.035 layer height. That means that every 0 0.035 will be another layer of material. And I'm not going to mess with any of the other settings. And I'll hit apply. And we're going to slice it. Again, this takes a few minutes. Okay, so it's done slicing. And it says that it's going to take 5 hours and 45 minutes to print this body. And then we'll hit save. I'll save it to the memory stick. And I'm going to call this Unicorn Angled. And again, let's take a minute or two to save. Okay, so now that it's saved, we're going to do a little playing. So let's, let's get rid of the file and reload it. So it is flat, flat, right on the, the bill plate. We're going to go straight to supports. It'll raise it up five millimeters because that's my setting. And we're going to light settings. And we're going to auto support it. Okay, so let's go back and we'll look at where the supports are going to be. They're going to be underneath this this lip, which we're going to sand anyways. They're going to be underneath this panel here, which is easily sandable. They're going to be underneath here, easily sandable. Easily sandable here. Easily sandable. Yeah, everything looks pretty easy to take care of. 
does that say yeah it actually does say rtr and the, the gas cap we'll see if that actually shows up in the print i never noticed that before okay our door handle and our our little side intake there just a little corner I'm not too worried about that not too worried about this either all right so going about what I just said a few minutes ago we've got a lot of surfaces that are going to be perpendicular and we have a lot of surfaces that are going to be parallel this whole surface here this whole surface here this whole surface here so we're going to see which I'm going to actually I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the heavy supports on this to keep it on on the bill plate as well so we'll add some some heavies along the back along these supports here and keep it all square them in the wheel wells we'll put them in the corners same places actually no I don't want to put them in the corners this time I'm gonna put them on this flat surface put them in the wheel wells put them on this rocker just want to anchor this thing down so that it doesn't move. Put some here. Put some here. I'm going to put some here. It might be overkill to do all this. But I want to make sure this thing doesn't move. Some on the front here so that it doesn't move all right i'm pretty happy that uh get with the heavy supports that uh this thing's not going to go anywhere let's rotate around and this is gonna we're gonna call this one flat i didn't change the slice settings so we're just going to go straight to slice Take a few minutes here. Now that it's done slicing, it says four hours, five minutes. So I think this is going to be an hour and 40 minutes shorter print time. So we'll save it to the same. And we're going to call this Unicorn Flat. It'll take a few minutes to save. Okay, so we have enough resin in there. Close the lid. And we're going to go to print. And we're going to do angled. It says five hours and 45 minutes. And we'll press start. It's the next day, and it says it took six hours and ten minutes to print. Let's take a look at it. Okay, it looks like we got a body hanging there. Let's do our little flip move and try not to spill any resin. Yeah, we'll 
we'll get it off the build plate. Okay, that wasn't bad. And we'll get it into the wash bin. six minutes. It's hard to do this one-handed. And we'll start the next print. This is uh, flat. Says four hours and six minutes. We'll see what it ends up at. Okay, four hours, 24 minutes. So now that they're both cured, let's take a look at the differences between the two. Now these are both very, very good prints. I have to say in advance, um, both methods have their pluses and minuses. So let's take a closer look. All right, so we will start with the angled and tilt body. If you look at the reflection, you can see just a little bit of texture, but it seems to be running downhill along here looking very 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 close at this you can see that same texture so all this is going to have to be block sanded anyways remember we were talking about that that flat edge was going to have lines and sure enough it does see the print lines in it and then there's a declaration line right in the center there i'm nitpicking here and it does say rtr still in the uh, gas cap but anyways um, we knew that this was going to be a mess down here because of the supports but I do have some print lines here looking here we have a, a Z line since the body was like this we got a, a, a Z shift right from there to there otherwise uh, it looks pretty smooth Got some print lines along this bottom of the door. Top of the door looks pretty good. I don't see any print lines in it. All the rivets came out, which is really kind of cool. Uh, I think that there was some print lines somewhere else here. Not finding them right now. Um, the tops of the fenders are smooth. and the cowl is smooth. The top is very smooth. There's one, this must have been like the last row to print 
because there's a air bubble. So that just needs a little filler. So that is the tilted and angled body. This is the flat printed body. Now, I know that you all are going to say, wow, look at those marks. But it's just here in the center. Same as uh, sort of running downhill marks. So block sand this and it'll be fine. Our trunk lid has lines here. That all needs block sanded. We do not have any lines here. All right, moving down the side of the body here. Um, of course, we've got where the supports were, no big deal. But there aren't any print lines anywhere along here until you get to the door. We have some print lines going this direction and at the top here. Same thing on this side. Print lines through here, through here, through here. Now, now dimensionally, they're exactly the same. Uh, you know, size-wise, there's no warping on either of the uh, the lower panels. I think. But they're both very good prints. Um, this one took an hour and 40 minutes longer than this one did. Um, they would both be easy sand jobs. So, um, which one will I work with? I'll work with the smoother one. Just to, uh, to avoid doing this, this panel here. Alright, so that's these. What do you guys want to see next? I can print the rest of the body, I mean, the rest of the chassis, the interior, print the whole kit, I can build it. Um, we can print something else. I can print some clear parts. What do you want to see on this channel? Because you're in control, I'm just the one making the videos. If you want to get one of these printed, I'm not going to do any printing. But I have some friends that I reached out to prior to making this video, and they both agreed to make prints these whole kits for you. Now, I'm not affiliated with these people. I don't set their prices. But as a resource, they are there to print kits for you. So I'll leave links in the description of the two places that I know that you can get them. And as far as the decals, um, I did reach out to STS decals. And I've had these. These are the Hunicorn version 1 decals. STS makes these decals. So I'll leave a link for STS decals as well so that you can buy your own set. Please leave me a comment below uh, what direction you want me to go in next with the resin printing or just, you know, shelve the resin printing stuff and get back to building model cars. It's your channel. Let me know. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt, hit the subscribe button, and watch the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.